。OK <笑>。What would you do on that one? What would I do on this、yeah. one? I would. Probably something very similar,、like、but、uh, maybe a little bit more strumming on this guy.、It、feels bigger, you know. You'll explain why, I'm sure, in a second. Quentin King here, Paul here, Music Villa. We're in Bozeman, Montana, and、uh, I'm sorry, I've you know a little bit of a rough voice today. <laughs> Paul、There's、had a, a late smoke night. Out in the air to, it's you know, yeah, yeah. It's it's the yeah, the, fi- the, the forest fires. Forest fire smoke. Yeah, We yeah. are inundated with forest fire smoke coming and out I, of.、Uh, and I did stay out a little late. You stayed out a little late. You're out、uh, checking out some music. Yeah, right. That's what I do. Occasionally, we get some、yeah. uh, nice traveling bands come through Bozeman, and so. Yes, so let's talk about some Taylor guitars. You want to do that? Sure. Okay. I just want to listen to you talk. It's, well,、uh, you've got that Jenny、yeah. Cash voice. Yeah, thank、It's、you. Great. <laughs> good. Thank you. So, Taylor. Okay. We haven't. I don't know if we've ever done these. So five twelve. Okay. So five hundred series. These are both twelves, which is the concert body, right? So,、mm-hmm. we have a five twelve CE. Twelve.、Uh, this one's a fourteen fret, and this one's a twelve fret. <coughs> Excuse me, but the CE. CE. Yep. Is, so that's a 512 CE. Yeah, but the C stands for cutaway and electronics. Electronics.、Yep. Whereas this is this one, no electronics, no cutaway. It's a 512 12 fret. Yep. So same guitar,、uh, but you know it changes when you when you have a 14 fret versus <coughs> a 12 fret. Speaking of the smoke,、oh, yes, man, it's, it's, it is smoky here. It's getting to us.、Uh, and what else is cool? They're cedar top. Yeah, I was gonna say it did not、yep. look like、um, uh, you know your standard、yeah. spruce. So so mahogany back and side, cedar top. So there's a warmth in these.、Um, they're great. They're finger style. They're、um, you know they they respond real well when you're when you're finger picking. The way I've heard cedar described to me. So I、uh, I might have mentioned this in a long past video, but I had a good friend who worked at Weber Mandolins that was、uh, previously based in Logan, Montana, which、uh-huh. is just down the road from us. And he was so generous and kind enough, and Bruce Weber was very kind、uh, to let them kind of build me a, a mandolin. Not that I'm particularly good at it, but、uh, gosh, I'm trying. So it's got a maple back and sides,、yeah. but the question was, do we go spruce or、uh, cedar on right. top? Right. Yeah. And you see cedar on a lot of classical type guitars,、yep. I think nylon strings and whatnot. And the way it was explained to me, and by all means,、uh, learned watchers, viewers, please. Comment and correct us,、mm-hmm. but、uh, like you said, cedar comes out of the box, so to speak, with a warmth and a, almost like a mature tone that spruce m- might not start with.、Correct. But the way they explained it is, over time, spruce will potentially surpass cedar for that warmth if you give it however many years.、Mm-hmm. And, but cedar will always have that solid initial warmth and. Yeah. Anyway, that's how it was explained、true. to me. And I think cedar's, a, you know, it's a little bit of a softer wood, and、mm-hmm. therefore, it does allow for, you know, you know, easier. It's easier to make the top go. You know, make, make it move. We're on a spruce top. You、make、can kind of hit it harder. These are going to be more responsive,、yeah. possibly for for lighter finger touch. And it looks cool. And it looks cool. You、it、know, these are、cool. neat guitars. I'm noticing some of the appointments on it right now, yes, like this,、uh, the, the binding, binding on the inside of the saddle. That、oh, looks amazing.、Cool. It really is cool. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts about that one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think、um, it, you know it. It comes down to、uh, well, you know, there's a, there's functionality with the cutaway again. Then this thing is is really nice because it's got、uh, you know a lot of functionality. You've got electronics. You can plug it in, dial in your sound. It's got the cutaway, so you can for those players that are capable shredders to get all the way up here and make use of these、mm-hmm. upper registers. You have that access. I'm typically not one of those players, but.、Um, It's got a lot of versatility, and it, and it's fun to play. But you know, when you when you grab a 12 fret, I'm going to switch over 
One of the cool things about 12 frets is you just feel like you're you're wrapping yourself around this guitar, like everything yeah. is right here and accessible. Um, and they, they just play punchy. They have a slightly different tone, I think, compared to 14 frets. And it, maybe it's just a reflection of how you're inspired to play, because yeah. it does feel very comfortable to be nice yeah. and tight and close. But uh, also a beautiful guitar. I, I love the look of slotted headstock. Yeah. I hate changing strings on a slotted headstock. Right. But yeah. It takes a little uh, a little a couple little of tricks. Effort. A couple yeah. of tricks and you will you will be able to do but it. But it no just problem. looks really cool. But anyway, cool. both great guitars. amazing guitars. Yeah. I think we'll do a little playing here. Yeah, we'll and compare them in the end and let you side side. let you all decide which one you like better. Um, Quentin, thanks. You bet. My pleasure. Taylor, five twelve C E and five twelve twelve fret. Very so, nice. All right. Thanks everyone for watching.